Uh, this is Jimmy Webb here with Webb Bee Farms in Elberton, Georgia. And I'm feeding my bees here in my bee yard uh, some sugar syrup with essential oils. Now, why am I doing that in July? Uh, because I know there's a lot of beekeepers out there that uh, are probably cringing saying, why is he doing that? Because he can set off robbing in his bee yard. Well, that po does pose a risk. Uh, I do believe that the uh, benefits outweigh the risk. Uh, because one, uh, feeding them uh, just a, some sugar syrup to keep them building foundation, and also feeding some essential oils, ex especially thyme oil, that uh, is very beneficial this time of year. Now, these are only 20, 25 bee hives in this bee yard, and they're gonna take this sugar syrup up pretty fast. Uh, so, uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about, about the sugar syrup. Uh, it's uh, three gallons of t room temperature water with 10 pounds of white granulated sugar. I take uh, two tablespoons of lecithin, soy lecithin, dry, and I stir it into a cup, cup and a half of boiling hot water until uh, it is dissolved. And then I put approximately a teaspoon and a half of wintergreen oil and a half of a teaspoon of thyme oil. I then uh, stir that until it's totally emulsified. Uh, the lecithin um, emulsion will allow the oils to bind and disperse throughout the entire sugar syrup water column of the five gallon bucket. And it won't just set on top of the oil and float as a oil slick and, cut and kill a lot of bees. So that's the way you feed the bees the essential oils and not kill them. Uh, the lecithin is a very important part of uh, feeding essential oils. Now, you also see pine bows. I just take those pine bows um, or limbs, if you don't, can't, don't understand what I'm saying from my southern accent, and I place them into the, the, uh, the sugar syrup to allow the bees to go down and feed onto the sugar syrup and get out without drowning. Now, um, you gotta make sure that you put the pine um, limbs all the way down to the bottom because as the, the sugar syrup gets lower when they are taking it away, you won't have the, uh, uh, a large drowning of bees at the bottom. Uh, it's necessary to keep them at the, at the bottom so they won't do that. But anyway, this just keeps the, the hives interested, keeps them building foundation, gives them some thyme oil in their diet, which I think is beneficial. Uh, but anyway, uh, I am Jimmy Webb with Webb Bee Farms. We sell nooks to private uh, beekeepers. Uh, we also sell nooks to the pollinators, and we'd love to hear from you. Uh, we, uh, you can get us an email, give us an email or a shout out to uh, Web B Farms, that's W-E-B-B-B-B-E-E -B 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 -E -E Farms at gmail.com. Uh, and you can get in touch with me there and then um, you can check me out on Facebook. I'm on Facebook uh, at Web B Farms and we would love to hear from you. But I'm just going to uh, mm -hmm. keep doing some documentaries because I have a lot of new beekeepers. I don't like putting new beekeepers out there and not giving them some advice because we want people to be, to keep bees alive. We want people to enjoy having, um, having beehives and, and it's very good and beneficial for the environment and for our agriculture. So uh, I'm just trying to do my part and help with uh, questions and give people some advice and some ideas to, uh, to feed their colonies, love on their colonies, uh, make them strong, and, but most of all, keep them alive. Uh, with all the pests and everything out there, it's, it's, sometimes it's hard to do. But anyway, I'm signing off. Again, I'm Jimmy Webb, and I'm at webbfarms at gmail.com. Thank you.